Hey y'all. Um, I hope you can, I hope y'all can hear me. This is a little test. Uh, because I did a whole video out here without any sound. So I'm trying to make sure. I'm sorry. I came out here to redo it to do it again. So um, uh, was gonna, I was talking about forcing my kids to do things when I know it's good for them and they are resistant and stubborn and I say do it anyway and, and let's go. Um, yeah, I do that as a parent. And um, I do that because uh, I know on the other side what the outcome is for them uh, or the basics of it. We can never know. Growth is amazing like that. We don't know how amazing it's going to be. If you're watching, please let me know if you don't hear it, uh, the sound because I had an issue with the sound. Um, that's what I love about growth. Uh, we set up the right environment. We put the right things in place, and then we just move forward. And then we see an amazing amount of growth, okay? So this is why I, yeah, uh, forced my oldest daughter to come out here and help us with the garden. Um, she wasn't happy at first. She she wanted, she didn't want to. She just wanted to stay in the house, chill out. And I'm like, no, let's go, you know? And um, now we're out here, and we have this beautiful garden, and she enjoys uh working in the garden and helping to plant things, repot things, plant seeds. Last night we were all out here, we were planting onions for the first time in little, little solo cups. Um, oh, the sun's coming out. Uh, and we're going to be planting in the ground uh, soon for the first time. Uh, they've been amazed by seeing worms in the ground. They've been amazed by uh, seeing all kind of bugs in nature, you know what I mean? And also being excited when they see the food start to grow. Um, if I just said, oh, all right, stay in the house and watch TV because you don't want to come out here, she would have never experienced that. And nine times out of ten, um, she's saying no, she doesn't want to in the beginning. But then after a while, she really gets into it and she realizes, oh, this is not so bad. Or actually, I actually enjoy it. So I'm not a mom. Do whatever works for you. But I'm not a mom that will uh, let my child make a decision that will not grow them. You understand what I'm saying? So um, I really, really believe in that. And it's the same as with my students when they come in. Yeah, they get forced to do stuff they didn't want to do from Mr. Rita. They, they have to sit and work with me for an hour independently and participate. They have to read aloud for the first time or, or they don't usually have to read, read aloud because they struggle with it. They usually act out and can get out of it. But they have to read aloud. And at first, they're like, no, no, no. They resist, they resist, they resist. But then after they start to become successful, they start to experience growth, they become eager. All right? So if you're a mom that knows what's best for your child, you know that this is going to be good for them. Don't be afraid to make that decision. Um, when they protest in the beginning, is it because it's not good for them? It's not going to be good for them. It's not going to help them. Or is it mostly because they don't know what to expect and they don't, you know, they want to be able to say no and they don't have any control. You know what I'm saying? So if that's the case, um, we put them in a position of growth. And that's what I mean by that. Um, we put them in a position of, gro of growth. My daughter, my oldest daughter, I know when she get up out on her own that she's going to be able to feed herself well and her family because she has learned how to be in the kitchen, clean up, and cook meals. Did she want to at first? No. Is that the most important thing? No. But she'll be in there. She'll, she'll go and cook on her own now. She'll, she, she'll go make smoothies on her own. Last night she was making a big pot of tea. You know what I mean? Um, and they've learned from me about when somebody's sick, I wasn't feeling too good. And Jazzy went and started making tea. Maya came up to me with a spoon of honey to feed it to me. Because <laughs> that's what I do to them. You know what I mean? Uh, sometimes she'll go in there and Maya would be all excited. Like, Mommy, Jazzy made corn muffins. Did you put chocolate chips in them? You know what I mean? That kind of stuff. So, um, yeah. Uh, in this day and age, it's unpopular to be a mom who stands her ground uh, and will 
tell their child no and tell their child no. Get in gear. Do what I said. I want to hear it. That's unpopular now, and it's unfortunate because our children need guidance. And just because we may force them to do things that they don't want to do in the moment, or we may force them to read instead of playing a game, or study instead of uh, laying in bed all day, just because we do that, and that's actually all good stuff, actually. But... In my opinion, it's all good stuff anyway. It's only going to grow them. That's what we focus on here, right? Growth. Uh, Just because we do that does not mean that they don't get to express themselves, that they don't get to feel good about themselves, that they don't get to contribute their own talents. And I was saying earlier on the video, y'all couldn't hear me, but I was saying earlier that my oldest daughter is very good at figuring things out. When it comes to something is uh, broken or something needs to be adjusted or or, or let me try this let, let me let me try this oh I know I got something for that she'll run and get it did she get that from my husband you know what I mean so if she's just in a, in the couch or in the house, um watching TV uh she won't be able to contribute to something beautiful being made so I'm, um there's an internet issue back here so I'm gonna try to be quick um. So that I can show you everything that's going on. First, I want to say that my garden presently is not done. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> There's stuff in pots that I just brought from Home Depot. And I just put them on top of bins. I'll turn this camera around so you can see. This is what I started growing food in. And I got this from Robbie and Gary Gardening on YouTube. She grows all her food in bins. Right? Um, so, uh, this is what I started growing in. So these were already set up. I left them on the ground throughout winter, fall, um, really winter. I left them on the ground throughout winter so that they, the worms can get in them. Okay. Cause I needed worms in my bins. They're on top, but I do composting from home. I take kitchen uh, scraps and I make compost from them and you need the worms, right? Um, and I thought about buying some, but I was like, nah, just be patient, Sharita, which is not my best uh, quality. <laughs> but just be patient and just put them on the ground, let them hang out in the winter, and then when it's time, pick them up. And I actually had uh, one of the bins that I thought didn't have worms in them. I decided to put it on the ground because that was going to be my compost bin. And when I lifted the bin up, I saw a worm under there. And he was like, hey, man, I'm under here. I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. I put the bin back on there. I was like, okay, <laughs> I guess it's working, <laughs> right? Um, why do it? I have uh, everything on tables? Because this shed, underneath the shed, is the home of some groundhogs. They were here before uh, I built the house. We built the house. The groundhogs were here. So um, as a new gardener, I didn't know nothing about no dog on groundhogs. I put them, and please excuse the garbage cans back there, we actually uh, organize things back here. But I put all these planters, all these bins, these totes were on the ground. And the groundhogs are coming out and tearing my food up. I'll be growing an eggplant, and then they come down and eat it down to the stem. Or some green bean, a green bean plant, I love green bean plants. Cucumbers, parsley. I mean, they were tearing my food up back here. I was like, what? And I was trying to figure out everything. I was out here putting hot pepper sauce. <laughs> Look, yeah, I was, I was learning stuff. So I was making a hot pepper sauce and put it around it, my plants in the, in the garden. And I put ammonia out here. Nothing really was working. So uh, I just put them on the tables. And then the groundhogs kind of shit. I saw them come out and stand up on their hind legs trying to get to everything and I felt kind of sorry for them because it was like I can't they just left but I saw one recently so I have, I have a new plan uh so we'll see how that works okay but first I'm going to show you something so this is this year for the first time I bought a lot of plants I, I was doing seeds and learning but I started my seeds kind of late and I've been very busy I'm like look I'm gonna get some help this year so this right here is a little salad bowl I got from Home Depot and every day, the girls are out here picking pieces off, picking leaves off this, this plant, eating them. And I have taken uh, leaves, all the different leaves, this, 
you know, off this plane, got Romaine back here too. And then um, this Kel plane over here. And then rolled it up like it was a burrito and started eating it. <laughs> so I've done that and it's been very good. So back to the. So we got this uh, from Home Depot. Oh, there are, two, there are cucumber plants. And this one, we've got three. Uh, uh, we got three cucumbers in one. Okay. Three cucumber plants. I was buying those. Whatever pot I could find that had three or four. Here is the uh, eggplant that pretty she is. And that's the Black Beauty. This is the Japanese eggplant. Wait till the flowers come. Uh, this is broccoli. For the first time, I'm buying broccoli. Here's some Brussels sprouts I am growing for the first time. Uh, and this tote right here, this is a lemon bomb that goes back. I put the mint. I put the mint over there by the groundhog shed. I, I call it a groundhog shed. Uh-oh, that's my shed. But <laughs> when the groundhogs are, because they don't like mint, okay? And I'm going to put herbs all around the shed and around the garden that they don't like. I'm working to build a groundhog-free uh, garden, okay? Uh, so I could, I'm gonna put stuff. I'm gonna plant stuff over there in the ground for the first time. But I'm gonna plant mint all around, rosemary, all the things that I've read that they don't like. Back here. All right. So over in this bin, we've got the connection's killing me, y'all. Uh, we've got lettuce, sandy oak leaf lettuce. We got that. We got some romaine lettuce. We got some peppers back here. In this bin, we've got cauliflower. All this, all this stuff has to be potted up. And pepper plants. Over here, I'm trying to do this quickly because of the connection. Over here, we've got uh, peppers. We've got that yellow zucchini right there. You see that? Uh, Burpee Golden. We've got Brussels sprout. Is this Brussels? No, this is a real one. I'm talking about. This is arugula right here, okay? It's six, it's a six pack. We've got this bin with these little, I think they're weeds, I'm not sure what these things are um, in here, I'm trying to, but they grow on their own. We've got tomato plants, I told myself I was not going to buy tomato plants because I have tomato plants growing on their own in these bins, but I couldn't help myself. They're just so beautiful, aren't they? Look, look how beautiful. Parsley strawberry plant back and we see there is a strawberry that's growing already right here we got dill we've got lemon thyme right here i got my english thyme over here that grows on its own came back okay this is the bin another one well, all these they must have seeds must have fallen from the trees or something i don't know what this these are but there are some tomato plants growing back here as well a lot of them that need gonna need to be transplanted. Should have seen them last year. We've got over in the corner there some red onions. We already planted the yellow ones. Um, uh, pepper, and there's a tomato. Look at that. Look at that guy. You see him? Actually, there are two. Actually, there are three. There are three back here. In here. So this really looks like tomato. Um, these don't look. The leaves look like a tomato to me, but the stems don't. But this right here, this red, I don't know if it's it's, it's a different breed. And it's fuzzy. The red, kind of red stem. That looks like a, that's definitely a tomato. And then we got the spinach in here. Ah! Oh, I wanted to grow a lot of greens. This is the sugar snap pea. Look how pretty. It's got these tendrils. That, that climb. Uh, as it grows, so this is gonna be staked up. I got big ideas, y'all. You just wait and see how this is gonna turn out. All right. Uh, and what's this right here? Oh yeah, another zucchini plant. I love zucchini. We grew them last year. They're so pretty, and the flowers are so beautiful, and they just grow so beautifully. Over here, we got a uh, uh, we have a strawberry planter growing up 
try not to get too far over there because of the internet. And then for the first time, you see that I'm growing oranges. So I uh, got it from Home Depot <laughs> and I researched and learned that you can actually prune these fruit trees and this variety um, to the size that you want. So I, I love citrus. I love orange. It's my favorite, favorite fruit in the whole wide world. I got one. And I also got, so I got stuff to do back here. But me and the girls, we're definitely doing it together. Teamwork. It's my little herb station. This cilantro was died the first day I bought it. And then it, it started to come back. And I got rosemary here. Got kale. Ooh, I smell that. What's that? What is that smell? The rosemary. I touched it. Okay. And then this is sage. See, this, this these kind of herbs smell very strong. The animals supposedly don't really like them. And I have a lemon tree that I'm going to plant. Over here is the thyme. It smells so good. The groundhog did not mess with the thyme. So, really, my, I'm going to have a huge herb garden in the border of my... <laughs> It's gonna be a lot of herbs bags, different herbs back here. This is watermelon, y'all. I tried to grow one last year. I didn't stay on top of it. I was too busy, but I didn't have a system uh, too. I think I have a much better system this year. Okay, to take care of this little seed. Hello, baby. And here, see, I'm almost done. I got some herbs planted. So some purple basil, oregano. Cilantro, parsley, and that's all that sprouted so far. But I had some scotch bonnet back here because uh, we Jamaican in this house. My kids are half Jamaican, so my husband's Jamaican. He's born here in the United States, but his mom and dad is from Jamaica. So I represent with the scotch bonnet pepper, y'all. I didn't see him in the stores, but I bought him. This is the last one I want to show you. This is the Graffiti cauliflower. Look how pretty it is. Maya picked this out. And we cannot wait for this to grow. I need some water. So that's the garden tour. We did it. Woohoo! We did it like I did it with me. Woohoo! We did it. Uh that wasn't easy because of the connection. But over here the connection is better. So uh so we just back here organizing, cleaning up, getting stuff together, getting the, oh, over here are the onions that I put. And me and the girls planted these last night. Okay. So we're, we're getting everything ready for the spring, spring garden. We're cleaning, we're organizing. For the first time, we're going to be growing in the ground. But we're going to be growing all the stuff that groundhogs don't like in the ground next to the other stuff that they do like. That's my thought process, y'all. We'll see how it works. All right. So thank you so much. Don't be afraid. If you you may agree with me, you may not agree with me. But but I'll just say this. Don't be afraid to push your kids to do things that you know are good for them. Uh. Don't be afraid to get them up off the couch. Don't be afraid to get them get their hands dirty, working um, on things, fixing things, creating things. Get their hands in the dirt with a garden. You, if you do want to do a garden, I did with my kids. This this has been a beautiful addition to our home uh, and our family. Um, just growing food together. It's been amazing. So I don't regret it. I don't regret be a little forceful sometimes when it comes to my kids like um guiding them where they need to and then just sit back and watch them grow and and listen to them ask questions and watch them take it over themselves because now they're genuinely interested in it and self-motivated it's the same process with my students same thing uh they become self-motivated in reading even if in the beginning they fight uh they're fighting you know what i mean so yeah, I love y'all. Believe in yourself. Believe in your child. I mean, always remember that growth is unlimited. Peace.